There is a general type of chart that has a circular shape. Called pie chart. In web programming. To be able to create a pie chart. Normally, it will be necessary to use all three languages. HTML. CSS. And JavaScript. But today. I won't use JavaScript. Van can still create the most complete and accurate pie chart. First I create an element with class, chart, in HTML. CSS side. I'll shape it to a width of 300 pixels. And height as 300 pixels. Don't forget to use the border radius property to make it circular. Now, for the background, I use the conic gradient style. This is a background color style that creates the effect of a strip of color arranged around a circle. Conditions for conic gradient to work. We need to declare at least two colors. And there is no limit to the maximum number of colors. For each color there are two configuration parameters. Starting point. And the ending point. If these two parameters are not declared. The system will determine itself. The starting point of the first color is 0%. The end point of the final color will be 100%. The space between the two parameters in the two closest rows will create a color mixing effect. So if the first color has a magnitude between 0 and 20%. At this time, the color mixing space will be from 20% to 100%. Because these are the two closest numbers in the two rows. When the second color has a starting point at 50% and ending at 100%. Then based on the above formula. The color mixing space will be from 20% to 50%. In case. The two parameters closest to each other. Have the same value. For example. I put the end point on the first color at 30%. The starting point for the next color is also 30%. At this time. No color mixing effect will occur. Look at this circle. This is not a two element pie chart with data. Yellow 30% and 70% red. I continue to create a third color to test its stability. Yellow from 0% to 20%. Red from 20% to 50%. Blue from 50% to 100%. So we have a pie chart with data. Yellow 20%, red 30%, and 50% blue. This means that whether there is more data, this chart of ours can still work fine. But from the beginning to the present. We can only find its data after analyzing the starting and ending points. But in real work. We will have to do the opposite. So now. I have a topic. Let's create a pie chart showing student A's programming skill rate. With the following data. Technical sun design. 30%. Front end skill. 60%. Back end skills. 10%. I will still create a chart class element inside the HTML. There's something about this time. I use style. To pass the data given in the question into CSS. Technical sun design. 30%. Front end skill. 60%. Back end skills. 10%. CSS side. I write the first lines of CSS to create the initial frame. Use conic gradient to draw a pie chart. Yellow represents design skills whose value is 30%. The starting point of the first color will be 0%. And ends at 30%. To use variables in CSS. We need to wrap it with a var function. Red represents front end skills. Will be started at the ending position of the previous color. That is 30%. The value of this skill is 60%. So the final score will be 60% plus 30%. Instead of using direct numbers here. We must use variables so that the chart always changes automatically when the data changes. 60% is the value of this skill. 30% 30% as its starting point. Blue represents backend skills. The starting point of this color will be equal to the ending point of the previous color. And because it's the final color. Its end point will be 100%. By default. The final color end point is 100%. So you probably don't need to write it here. Because the system already understands itself. So we have just created a pie chart from the given data. If the problem changes the data as follows. Design skills increased by 50%. Front end skill 25%. Back end skills 25%. Then you just need to change this data into the value of the variables in the HTML. Then the chart will automatically change accordingly. That means. From this moment on. When data is changed. You just need to change the values of the HTML variables. Without editing CSS. It's great, right? If everyone finds this video interesting. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos and useful knowledge every day.
Thanks everyone. See you again in the next video.